Hi, welcome to Data Science and AI. In this video, we are going to look at installing Python and setting up the path. Let's see a simple way where you can get uh, Python. So downloading Python is the first step you should do. To download Python, you have to type python.org and go to the website and see whether you can see the first page. Currently, this is the first landing page at python.org. Press the download step here. Currently, the version that you can see as of July 2021 is the Python version 3.9.6. So what you have to do is you can download the latest version of Python available from this site. So you can see that is here Python 3.9.6. After you press uh, Python 3.9.6 here, then you will see that the Python program will start downloading into your computer. So once it is available for you to install, you can Click the install now here so then you can see it will start installing but please remember to select add Python 3.9 to path this is to make sure that you will be able to run Python code Python program from anywhere in your directory system I will explain it later again how to set the path and so once you have done all this you can see that the setup will start uh, installing your uh, in, in your computer now wait for the installations to finish it's uh, if it depends on your computer 64 bit in my case so it basically starts installing and so that's all so once you see this screen that means you are done Hope you can see this message and congratulations for completing the first step in the path to succeed in data science and AI. Okay, so then uh, once you have installed, you need to run the command. So basically what you can do is you can do it using the command prompt. So that is CMD, you can uh, uh, search CMD, just uh, type it in this search window here. Uh, in your uh, Windows 10, uh, press CMD, or you can do it in any of your folders. You go to the top of the folder and type CMD, and then it will start uh, opening this kind of a window, uh, which is called the command prompt. And then depending on where you started CMD, you can see your file directories here. Once you have opened this command prompt, now it's a matter of running Python in your computer. So let's try to run Python using command prompt. So now type Python or py in the command prompt to see if you can run Python for the first time in your computer. In my case, I type Python. So immediately after I type Python enter, I get the version number and other information and then it will change the command prompt to this prompt here. Well done. If you can see this one, that means you are ready to take off using Python. But this is one of the basic techniques. Uh, you can type commands here, but there are other techniques like you can have a Jupyter Notebook installed on top of this, then you can type the commands on Jupyter Notebook instead of typing on the command prompt. So I will come to that one in a later lesson. So that's about how to install Python, but there can be some glitches in your installation maybe you might have not set the path properly to run the python or py in your command prompt that may be something that you missed uh, while installing but don't worry so let's see how you can set it up so you can set the path by searching for the environment variables so you need to find the place where the environment variables are placed in your computer search for environment so basically you go to again to the search point here in your uh, windows 10 environment windows 10 type environment 
in the search and you can see this tab appears here edit the system environment variables so that is under control panel so click that tab and go there so you have to click here and then go there so go to the environment variables panel so once you click you get this kind of a panel yes you can see this kind of panel in your screen and now please click the environmental variable environment variables which is at the bottom here environment variables so that is this is the environment variable panels there are some other things but uh, it is uh, on the advanced here so press environment variables so once you press there you can see there is environment variables panel you can see this one with user variables for me and system variables down here now you will see this panel and it's a matter of changing the path so i think uh, you didn't get the command to run because the path was not set properly so you go to go and select the path edit it select it and press edit and then you can see that it will go into a new window like this so that is how to edit the path variable so once you click the path and press edit the path variable so you get this one on your screen and then go to that uh, 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 add because now we need to edit the window choose because we need to add a new path choose new here from here new tab and add the paths where you have installed python so so edit uh, or new sorry new and then bring uh, the path you can copy this one by going to the folder of python i think you can search in your computer to see where your python is installed in my case python 39 is installed in this path so copy that path as well as copy the path for the scripts and then copy them into your environment uh, variables uh, under path so then you are done so once you do this one try to run the command again and see whether it runs properly in case it didn't work please restart your computer it might work yeah so after completing this process open a cmd in any folder and you will be able to run python or pi without any trouble happy pythoning so basically what you can do is type something in this case it's a command to print something as it is so print with a bracket happy pythoning and then enter you get the command out output of the command so this is using the command prompt but uh, in a later stage i will explain how to use the jupyter notebook which will be much easier to use and it can e easily edit cut and paste and many things can be done thank you happy pythoning